Why is my turtle shell squished? Well, that is because of MBD. What is MBD? How does it affect our turtle? Can it be prevented? And if so, how? And is there any cure to metabolic bone disease? So as you can see many turtles have a squished shell and the reason many a times for that is metabolic bone disease that is MBD. MBD stands for metabolic bone disease. It happens in not only turtles but tortoises and all reptiles and even humans so it is very very common. What basically happens is the bone structure of the turtles or whoever is suffering from metabolic bone disease is deformed so you can see a little dent in their a little dent in their carapace which is the upper part or the plastron which is the shell covering the belly or the bridge which is this part connecting the two parts well on this turtle which is terra my radiate slider female uh, the dent is not very prominent but if you look closely you can see that it's it's a little uh, there is a little dent over here it's not perfectly round as it should be but on my other turtle that is Sheldon that is Sheldon who is my other female uh, the dent is very much more prominent you can clearly see a dent on, on her carapace which is the top part of the shell well what causes metabolic bone disease well metabolic bone disease in turtles specifically is caused by lack of calcium and lack of phos phosphorus in their diet now, now by listening to that you would directly assume that it has to do with their diet which is one factor in metabolic bone disease but there is a second factor as well the second factor is their, is their environment uh, it is uh, the, both the diet and environment play a very important role in develop uh, in the proper development of turtle and okay and when turtles are suffering from metabolic bone disease is it's either their diet is compromised or their habitat or in some cases both so for diet you need to do more than just using a pellet like this 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 says that your turtle should be allowed to eat as much as it can consume within two hours which is way way too much it will lead to a obese turtles a turtle don't do that this is a good diet for baby turtles but it's not the only thing that you should feed live worm live insect is something that is great for baby turtles as well Turtles, specifically radiate sliders, are omnivores, so they do like car car so they are carnivores and herbivores as well. But for younger turtles, which is hatchlings that you usually will get at the pet shop, you should feed more of worms, more of protein-rich food like uh, meal worms, earth worms. Those are the things that they they really require for a proper growth. Whereas when they are adults, like this, this is an adult turtle. This is how big adults get, by the way. So for adult turtle, more of uh, greens should be introduced in their diet. So you have to, so you have to give your turtle more than just these things, which are pellets, which are great for young turtles, but they should have a varied diet. For calcium, for calcium, what you can use is sprinkle their food with uh, calcium powder. I made a video on how to make calcium powder. Another thing that you can use is cuttle bone. If your turtles love cuttle bones, I know some turtles really do not like bite on the cuttle bone but if your turtles do cuttle bone can be a great source of calcium as well as i said earlier one more, one more factor that might lead to metabolic bone disease is their habitat now there are a ton of video on how to make a proper habitat my habitat for this turtle is not at all best i have shown it in some some videos and people were quick to point out that it's not the best and i really do appreciate that i genuinely do because of that too, my turtles do not enjoy deep water. I've seen that when I fill their water up to the brim, they usually spend more time on the land and I don't want them to get dehydrated. So there are a ton of videos on making a good enclosure for radiate sliders. Mine is not the one to follow. Um, my turtles have diff very, very less water. Do not follow that. Many people were quick to point that out in the comment section, which is amazing. I should have actually included that in the video. But I did not and I really do genuinely appreciate when somebody points that out because if, if somebody doesn't have a proper enclosure and they are telling people how to do something that's just, that's just really One very important thing in the turtle's habitat that they should have is a UVB bulb A UVB bulb really helps them to, uh, helps them to absorb the calcium from their food 
without a heat bulb and a UVB bulb, the turtles would not be able to properly digest the food. So even if you have the best food, your turtle might still suffer from metabolic bone disease. So yes, preventing metabolic bone disease is just as easy as having a proper enclosure and having a good diet for your turtle. One thing that we left out is how does metabolic bone disease affect our turtles. Now many times in more severe cases because uh, the shell deforms, the turtle's mobility might be compromised in some way. The turtle might be in immense pain as well. So those are just few ways in which metabolic bone disease affects our turtles. And how to cure it? Can it be cured? Well, curing it, uh, there is no solution to cure it overnight. There is a way to cure it, but nothing can be done in very short period of time. The, the treatment of meta metabolic bone disease is much more, it takes much more longer time than just a few days. So for mild cases like this one, like my turtle, or some medium cases like my other turtle, uh, it's, uh, metabolic bone disease can be cured through proper diet and having a proper environment slowly. I have seen that over the time since I have a great, uh, better enclosure now, uh, the turtle's shell has shell, the quality of shell is better and the turtle's shell are, is getting better day by day. Uh, it's getting much more rounded, the dent seems to be disappearing. For more severe cases, uh, just doing this may or may not be effective. So yes, that was all I know about one of the things and one of the most common things that can affect your turtle. Hope you guys learned something new and did enjoy the video. Thank you guys. Thanks for watching.